Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade and this is How to App on iOS. And today we are going to be taking a look at... By audio modern. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's wicked. Before we even get to it, it's sick. It'll freeze your heart. <laughs> Let's do it now. Hello. Welcome to the show. My name is Jade. This is Out of Weapon iOS. It's Friday. I hope you're all doing well on the weekend ahead. Yeah? You're all good? Everyone good out there? I'd like to welcome our ward warriors. You can become a ward warrior by doing the thing and the stuff and the, all the shit below. And you can get that happening for you to ouge. All right. Let's say hello to everybody, and then we'll talk about what you just may have saw if you've been watching my uh, Walk With Me series, where I walk with you. What a catchphrase. I love it. (laughs) I can't stop saying it. (laughs) Thank you, Thomas, for putting the link there. Hello, uh, Son of Snake, my friend Chris and Ali, the two lovebirds. (laughs) Barry Glenn, Gregory O'Sullivan, uh, Lini, Thomas, of course, uh, Joe... Barry's here. Um, who else? Gozo. You know what? I will, man. I will. Thank you. And uh, no, I'm not out of breath. I actually did all right yesterday. I was breathing less heavily uh, in that video. <laughs> Circumstances uh, taking into account. <laughs> Audible. All right. Shall we address it? Let's talk about it. So, um, I hope you're enjoying the Walk With Me series. You know, it's, uh, as I said in the last video that you may have been at at the premiere, actually getting up and walking is not an issue. I'm down. I could do 6Ks a day, not a problem. I had to stop myself yesterday. 6Ks easy a day. We're going to be at that by the by in a couple of days' time. We're probably going to do four today when I go for my walk. But... um. It's actually setting up. It's getting everything ready. Like, look at this contraption I've got to carry around. This has, like, a wireless mic built onto it. There's my gimbal. So I've got this. I've got the drone in a backpack, you know, and this is all connected with wires. And, oh, man, it's a – and everything's got to be charged. And then there's the little clip-on mic that sits up here and battery packs and the phone's got to be charged. It's – it's a technological nightmare, but actually walking is like the easy bit. But let's cover what happened. Let's tell you exactly what happened and exactly what's going to happen. In a way, right? Um, in a way, it's kind of exciting. It's, it's, it's added a bit of a bit of excitement to basically a stupid little walking show. Because that show, the second episode was called Lost. Because I lost my drone yesterday. And, you know, it's only worth about 700 bucks. And, look, I like to think I'm a pretty good pilot. I've never come close to crashing anywhere. Like, I've flown through some really dangerous little trees and stuff. And I, I've practiced a lot at my flying. I've been doing it for a year and a half. And uh, it wasn't user error, unfortunately. Sometimes it just happens the way the wind works. And I found, so I found this little cul-de-sac kind of in the scrubland yesterday, which is beautiful. I had this little clearing, but it was surrounded by trees. And I flew it out of this circle of trees to get some overhead shots. And as I brought it back down, this, I don't know, it's like a wind tunnel. It just sucks. I don't, I've never seen anything like it before. Just this wind gets pulled into this little area. And man, it just dragged it, dragged it. It hit a tree. And I'm watching it on the screen go, oh. <laughs> and then it went down. And let me tell you, the grass, when I'm standing, where it's landed, is about this high. Now, I live in Australia, and we have a lot of snakes, and I really didn't want to go in there wearing runners and tracksuit pants. So today, I'm wearing Doc Martens when I go for my walk, (laughs) and some jeans, and we're going to do it. And I've got a machete, and I'm going to cut through the grass with a machete (laughs) and find this fucker. The other thing was, too... You've got such a small screen in your hands to try and see the GPS coordinates. And as you can see, my eyesight isn't so good. So I just couldn't, I couldn't, uh, and and I, so because I couldn't see the GPS coordinates, I was going on 
the maps. And maps aren't really good under trees. So every time I thought I was close to it, I, I'm like, I'm, I'm, cl I'm close, I'm close. Then all of a sudden the map refreshed and I was over here. <laughs> and then I would move again and then I'm like, I'm close. And then the map refreshed and I'm over here. And it was just frustrating. So I gave up and went, you know what? Let's look at the weather and see what the weather is. Uh, so the weather, no rain for the next three days. So it's, it's not going to get rained on. And I just decided, let's continue the walk and leave it where it is. No one's going to find it, right? And when I got home, I got on the big screen, got those GPS coordinates. Yeah, I'm going to find it today. I know exactly where it is. So I've got a machete. We'll cut through that grass. It's just going to be sitting right there, completely fine. The blades won't even be ruined. I have plenty of blades anyway, but uh, I have hope. When it all went down, was I pissed? Yeah. But I'm really proud of myself because a few years ago, I would have lost my shit. I would have been smashing shit, swearing, possibly yelling at random people, <laughs> crying. But no, there was a brief at hand and the brief was, we're walking. We can come back. There's always tomorrow. Yeah. And in this case, there is today. And it's going to make a compelling episode today because if I find it, and I believe I will, today's episode is clearly going to be called Found because lost and found. Uh, yeah. So we, we get up to fight a new day. Yeah. And, and you know what? It's money. As I said in the show, many years ago, I didn't even think I'd still be alive today due to my health. But I wake up every day very blessed to be alive and do this and be around you. So thank you. All right. There's my little thing. We've got all that out of the way. Let's get into today's app so I can get out of here. Now, a little bit of an update. So uh, later today, I was planning on doing this green screen show, yeah, on the drums. Uh, look, <laughs> I think I'm going to have to can it, just put it unlisted and maybe look at it later this week because, yeah, it's a lot to focus on and set everything up today. And I have Patreon in the morning tomorrow. I've got a live performance of Ben Fold songs tomorrow. And I promised I would go on Metalhead Hippie Show that's currently on now to go and perform some songs for Wendy, who passed away. So I want to do that as well. So after this show, I'll be leaving straight away. All my gear is ready to go. Got all my gimbal and everything. We're heading out at nine in the morning. So it's an early morning walk. And we're going to go find this drone. And um, you know what? We're going to find it. We're going to do the walk, film everything, come back, and then I'm going to hopefully jump on Metalhead Hippies show and play some songs for Wendy who passed away because I really don't want to miss out on singing for Wendy, yeah? All right, so that's the deal. So if you see the green screen show disappear, please bear with me. And I, th I don't think you need uh, four appearances of me on YouTube today. We've already had an op best of opening hour, a walk with me, now this. It's, there's too much Jade today. <laughs> Alrighty, today's app is uh, by Audio Modern and it's sick. It's really cool. Let's jump over to the beat community and re get back to what we do here and take a look at apps. So there's a whole bunch of apps that are on sale. Get ready, guys, because we're coming up to Black Friday where lots of sales, apps are going to be on sale everywhere. Yeah, they're going to be on sale everywhere. Um, so Nembrini's got, uh, Nembrini audio apps are all currently half price. Uh, Four Pockets has a bunch of apps on sale. Spatializers on sale. Fab Filters dropped Pro R2, and I'll be looking at it this week. And let me tell you, it's fucking bananas. I love it. Apple Sacks is uh, free. Audio Modern's released Freezer, which we're looking at today. All right. So, Four Pockets, Chameleon, Helium, Progressions, Digisticks, four sick apps that are all on sale. Worth your time. Nembrini, look at all the Nembrini apps. Uh, is it virtually every Nembrini app is on sale? You're looking at about 10 bucks or half price off all of them. So that is a bargain. Spatializers down from 10 to 7 bucks. 
A lot of good stuff there. Today we're looking at Freezer from Audio Modern, and it's $9.99. Now, I'm not sure if this is a sale price. I should check, shouldn't I? Uh, no, it's not. But from what I what I think I read, let's have a look and see if I'm correct here, is we'll go to Audio Modern's uh, website. This is available also on PC and uh, Mac. So, and from what I heard on the grapevine, freezer. So it's it's 19 pounds, so it's about 19 bucks US. That's a sale price. It's going to go up to 29. But if you buy any other of uh, Audio Modern's apps today, or I don't know how long this lasts for, you will get freezer for free with any purchase. You can see that there. $19 or free with any purchase of any of Audio Modern's app for apps for Mac or Windows. Yeah, there you go. So that's all the prices and stuff. Let's oge and jump over to a project where I've uh, made some stuff. Yesterday was a busy day, let me tell you. I, I got home from that walk and worked all the way through till uh, midnight and then had the pleasure, I don't know if you've seen this, guys, the new Beatles video clip dropped last night for the song. Just go and see it. I cried all the way through. Maybe I needed a cry, but, man, seeing them all together, it was just wicked. It was so good. Peter Jackson did a great job. I, I, you know what? The only flaw I can say with the Beatles song that they dropped, look, I'm already crying now. They should have released the video with the single. Instead of releasing the single the day before and then the video the day after, they shouldn't have done that because seeing the video with the music was so much more impactful. It was just sick. Great job. Really loved it. All right. So here we have uh, some some drum stuff. We've got some noise stuff and some synth, a few things uh, attached here. This is a freezer and it does a whole lot of crazy ratcheting kind of stuff. Let's just hit play and show you what it does. Yeah. <laughs> Heaps of fun. Let's uh, clear out this project and show you exactly how it works, where everything is, and let you decide if this is worth your hard-earned dollar dues. yeah? So first, we're going to uh, uh, throw in a loop mix, which is another audio modern app, which we're just uh, running there. Uh, so Freezer is an effect that you add in a track. So you add it as an AUV3. You can add it in Logic, 
Quebec or AUM or Cubasis, wherever you want. You add it on top of uh, whatever's being generated and it does its magic. And it's spelt F-R-E-E-Z-R because it's freezer. Let's uh, grab a random kind of loop in here. Uh, some kind of, what have we got? Cinematic. Let's grab that. See, if, see what happens with this. So here it is by itself. And we're going to grab a preset here to kick off. Let's turn it off. So you can hear what it's doing, it, it, it kind of ratchets individual parts. Okay, so if you've ever used or seen an Audio Modern app before, very, very, very similar, uh, very similar interface to all of their apps. They, they keep a very similar aesthetic, yeah, because it's a clean and really nice uh, UI. So why change anything if it's already sound and sweet? So let's go from the top and have a look. You've got this little uh, freezer icon up the top, and when you click on it, you get all this uh, lovely stuff here. So you get a little manual. If you want to have a look at the manual, open it up in a, a blank page. So take you to a PDF. We can find here, freezer, there's your manual that you can open up and have a read if you want to do that. Opens it up in a browser for you. You've got some videos. This will take you to the Audio Modern YouTube channel. Support, for the love of God, if you come up with a bug ever with an app, look for things like this, the support. Send them an email. Don't leave a review telling them, I don't like this app, it's got problems. Send the developer an email and they'll fix it. Because if you leave a review, that review stays there forever. And that's not cool. Especially if the, they fix it for you. Uh, their website, forum, if you want to join a forum. And uh, you can join their mailing list as well. So that... You get that when you click on the little icon up the top. Of course, up here, you can change the BPM. Now you've got a sync button. So if you have this open up in say, like we here have here in AUM, it's currently set to 110 BPM. If I hit the sync button, it will sync to the, uh, whatever's, you know, your BPM is in your door. Here is your presets. You can back up your presets. So you can do a backup and export them when you hit this. It uh, gives you the option to save to your files or wherever you'd like to save it. And then you can send it to somebody. And then when they get it, they can hit import and they can load those in. Why oh, are you not opening for me right now? Maybe you can't. Well, well, oh, it's frozen. No, it hasn't. Maybe it has. It's There we go. See, there's a, uh, maybe that's a bug in AU, in, as an AU. That crashed on me. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> See, these things happen, man. And they happen live, don't they? So, also in the little presets section is, why can't I open my presets now? Hmm. Oh, maybe it's AUM. It's AUM that's crashed, is it? Oh, no, we're good. Jesus. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Well, that's fun. <laughs> I can't even do anything. I can't draw anything. I guess we're going to start again. Could be because I'll tell you what it could be. <laughs> I have a shitload of things open over here because <laughs> I was shooting video last night. In fairness, I always forget to shut shit down. Don't be me and uh, close things. Um, what, what do we have up here? Loop, loop mix. We'll grab a uh, sound in here again. What was it? It was something like number. Oh. 
that's what it was. That'll do. Okay. Freezer. Here we go. There's our presets. So you can import presets and you can choose your presets here. You can click on them, double click uh, if you want to save one, right? So just say you've opened this one here, you modify it, you create your own little thing here. You can come back up here. There's a save button. When you click that, it'll let you save it, save over the top of it. And now when I click, it's, it's created a brand new file there. So we've got two of them, right? So you just double click to bring in your presets. Now let's have a look at the rest of it. So you do have an undo and redo, very handy. Here's a, a quick save, a quick favorite as well, if you want to do that. Sweet, undo, redo, little arrows up the top there. Uh, you can ignore MIDI input. Yeah, so because you can send MIDI, uh, MIDI inputs into this. You got a little information thing, which is the same as hitting freezer. All right, so let's hit play. And the first thing you'll notice is now there's only one block here. Yeah, so you can see where earlier we had two. So you have the option to split this into stereo or mono. Be, let's be sure, uh, uh, completely 100% up front here. This doesn't change the audio that's going in to mono. It's still a stereo output. It's just the effect is affecting the whole thing as a mono effect. Or you can choose stereo. And what you should hear is the uh, ratcheting happening on either side of the speakers. Hi, Chen. What's going on, my friend? Okay, so up the top here, we have this gate slider. Watch what happens when we control this. I'm just gonna make the wet mix 100. So you now you can hear the effect really clear, what's happening. If we turn down the gate, you're gonna get those sounds really cut off. So you can gate the shit out of it. We have this smooth button, which will smooth out each of the ratchets. So it's a more smoother kind of. <laughs> Let's uh, bring in some of the original mix. Okay, we've got this big button in the middle. Now these are these options here, nearly everything you find in this app are in all audio mod apps. Hello, Pookie. Good to see you, Pookie. The big button, what does the big button do? It randomizes. So you can see it's changing up everything here. Underneath that is the complexity. So if I turn this down to zero, you'll see sections disappear. So we've got a low complexity. Take it all the way up. Let's create another, grab another preset. Complexity up. So this little flash button here, when I hold this down, it temporarily randomizes until I let go. So it, does, it makes it random, and then I let go and it goes back to what you had. The little reset button resets everything, back to zero. 
So you can randomize again. You've got a filter over here. If we turn it on, which all of our MIDI controls are available to us over here too. So you could throw in an LFO and get this uh, filter animating, modulating, if you want. You've got resonance, of course, with your filter. High pass, low pass, band pass. Nice little addition there. And you can turn that off if you want. Over here, the dry and wet mix. So here it is by itself. You can dial that in to have a little bit of wet, little bit of dry. That's what she said. All right, underneath, we can control the speed. We can take this up and totally decimate it. So it can create some pretty crazy shit. Oh, we can slow it right down. All the way down to a one-to-one. -one. If we bring in the wet mix. So it creates some really, really strange effects going on. If you're not happy with eight bars, guess what? You can go up to 64. Or all the way down to two. So you can create some real off time stuff in here. With the dotted. And when we lift this up, this tells us how many we're getting. So you can see 14 here. We can do off numbers, so we've got seven. Create some real syncopated stuff. As I said before, we can go mono. So now the, 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 the wave, whatever's being played is still in stereo, but we have a mono effect over the top. And you can link these together. So if I hit link, now when I move one of these, they move together. Unlink. You can send the transport forwards or backwards or ping pong, forwards and backwards. We'll add a few more here, we'll add 16. And you can shift these as well. So you can shift them to the left, shift them to the right. I can't remember what this is for. Oh, this is the lock button. So you might want to lock these and you can click the lock on and then tap on the ones you want to lock and now when you hit oh I, I turned them off sorry about that let's lock these so now when we hit the big button up the top to do a random 
All the ones you've got locked will stay in place. To get rid of them, unlocked, good to go. So we've got this infinity knob as well, which is another thing that's in all audio modern apps. And before we get to that, I need to let you know, guess what time it is? Here on this channel, I got sick of people getting upset that an ad would play just randomly through the show and you get taken away. You may miss something important. So what I do these days is I run the ad and I let you know. So if you are not signed up to YouTube Premium, which you can get in your particular country at your particular price, then you will see an ad or you may not, even if you are not paying for premium. It's luck of the draw. I'm going to run the ad now and it helps me to go back and put my ad in place back later on when the show is done. So you may have got an ad then, or you may not have. It's a skippable ad, so we'll give those people time to come back. And once they're back, we can continue on and look at this infinity knob here. Hopefully you are all back uh, from the intrusive little ad that we play. Thanks for letting me know, son of snake. All right. So we have this infinity uh, little button here. And when that's on and we hit play, whenever our playhead gets to the end, it randomizes. So watch, it'll get to the end and randomize. Back to the other end and randomize. Boom. Boom. It randomizes. Hello, Shelly. But what's really cool is you can go in here and decide how many times the playhead goes before it randomizes. Let's make it four. It's going to go one. It's going to go back for a second run. Two. Three. And you can see it has a little number here. So it counts down. And now it changes. So you can change this number with the arrows. You can bring it down to zero or one or however many you want before it changes. You've got a bypass button, which will bypass the sound immediately. Pretty easy to understand, yeah? Oh, yes, sir. We'll get there. Don't worry. Thanks for the token, lol. We're just going through the, the commands at the moment so we see how it works. Okay, so you have a preset section here. You can save a preset. So if you like this, you can just hit the one down here and that's done. Hit a random. We've got two. Hit a random. We've got three. So now you can bounce between any of these that you've saved. At your leisure. Plus, if you've got your keyboard connected, you can control it uh, down here as well with a C2, D3. So you can use these connected to a keyboard and play those as you will. Okay, the last thing we're going to show you before we get in and start messing about with some cool sounds is this little section here. So to the side of these, you can actually control left and right how much these will go up. So not how many ratchets will be the minimum and maximum. So you can bring this up from the bottom, take this high, bring this up from the bottom. So now when we randomize, You've got more control over the number, not only the complexity, which is how many of them get done, yeah? Sick. All right. Let's bring down the sound. Let's add in some other instruments. Let's show you what else it does. It works pretty cool with some uh, vocals as well. So we'll move this MIDI over here. I'm going to introduce a MIDI track just to throw in a, a scalar or something so we can bring in some chords. 
Yeah, shall we do that? And um, let's uh, bring in like a, what do we do? Synthmaster 2 maybe. We'll send this scalar over to Synthmaster. Create some chords quickly just so they can play along. Synthmaster, let's, what kind of chords shall we grab? We'll do, um, we'll do some 80s stuff. Why not? And let's, oops, do like four beats and uh, we'll sync it to the door. Okay, we'll grab four notes maybe. Loop it. Let's find a sound in here. That was kind of cool. Is that this one? All right, let's throw a freezer on here. Sick. There's a shit ton of presets, as you saw. Just really good stuff. Let's throw in something a little bit noisy. What have we got? What else we got? We can throw some vocals in there. What does it do on vocals? I'm interested. Grab an extra mic here. Do we have sound? Let's make sure. Hello, 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 welcome. Hmm. I have no idea if this is going to work. Uh, oh, 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 wait. wait. Uh, well, it sounds like, it sounds like I'm hitting myself in the stomach. It sounds like I'm having a fit. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, let's uh, <laughs> Throwing some fish, scaper. 
pockets and that had Smallest. Let's go down to a uh, four. Is two. So two is the smallest. Sixteen is the the largest. Throw in uh, some chords on a piano just for the sake of it. Wicked. Let's put in some random chords into this. I'm going to fill all these up.
Let's remove uh, this. Maybe throw in a. Um, let's see what can we throw in for fun. <laughs> I know I'm looking for my, but my, oh man, no, I won't throw that in. What about a uh, strummer? Just... <laughs> oh man wicked 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 stuff so uh i mean it's uh, like anything it's up to you to use your imagination and why is that i've lost it there I'm clear out of here i don't need that so there you go there is um a look at freezer it is uh, $9.99 on the App Store. If you purchase it on the Mac or Windows computer, uh, it is on sale for $19. It will go up. But if you buy any other audio modern app uh, for Mac or Windows, you'll get this for free. See you later, Audible video. So, uh, yeah, I guess it's like up to you to use your imagination with this stuff and, and see if it's going to work for you. Let me open up quickly here. Just to do a test, because we always should test uh, stuff in Logic as well. Because it's a new kit on the block. Um, so I'm going to grab, let's just grab a, uh, what have we got? So I'm going to go here, instrument patches. Uh, we want to go to loops. Let's just grab a loop. Drums. Um, throw this in here. So we've got, we'll have a listen. We could chuck that in here. We'll put on a loop, bush, bosh, open the effects. Now, can I do it in here? Yes, I should be able to. Yes. We are looking for a freezer. There it is. And. So very easy to use in Logic as well. Hi, Robbie. You can use it with MIDI tracks. You can use it with uh, audio tracks like this. Pretty good stuff. If you are a Patreon of mine, I do have some copies to give away on tomorrow's live Patreon show. So you, I will be putting that up now for you guys who are Patreons to enter and all that jazz. But that is it for today. I am getting out of here because I have to go and retrieve a drone. 
and uh, film my walk. Uh, but I will be back, hopefully. I won't be gone too long, and I'll be hopefully uh, making an appearance over a Metalhead Hippies show. If I don't, I don't. If I do, I do. It is what it is. I'm going to be doing my best because I want to go and perform some songs for Wendy. Tomorrow on the show, my friends, we, it is the opening hour, and I'm doing something a little bit crazy. I know Pete Johns would be super happy about this. We're doing a Ben Folds tribute show. It's going to be a tough one to get through because nearly every Ben Folds song makes me cry, but I am going to sing my guts out tomorrow and do some of my favourite Ben Folds songaroos. This week's rant is going to be, what am I going to call this week's rant, just so you know? I think I'm going to call it, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Uh, from the classic Hulk TV show. We're going to be talking about anger on the rant this week. Come and join me for that as well. All right, let's get out of here. Today's featured artist is, who is it? It is Matthias, Matthias Prokowski, who has done a wonderful uh, remix of the Frank Terzo song that everybody's kind of remixing at the moment. Uh, called New World. I featured New World in my walk episode two today because it's a great song and I may be doing a remix as well. I'm, I'm working on it at the moment. We'll see if I can get it done. Who knows? Uh, so this is uh, Mateusz Bukowski's remix. There's a pinned comment up the top if you'd like to go and subscribe to Matt. I suggest you do so. And uh, you can check out his music on Song Whip and go uh, stream his music on Apple, Spotify, all those places. It's uh, pinned up the top. So this is uh, the track. Let's get out of here. Thanks for joining me today. Remember, do the things that make you happy. Mistakes make you better and we'll all rise together. This is Matt Prokowski, uh, Matthias M Prokowski, get it right, singing Frank Tozo's or performing Frank Tozo's New World. Boom. Do the things that make you happy. Mistakes make you better and we'll all rise together. See you tomorrow.
king of love Sing of love Lessons learned Cause you make me shine, baby.